Greetings everyone, here's Lodrick again and this is the game Rule the Waves 3. This is my attempt to bring glory to the German Empire. And this is now part 3. I am together with Russia in a war against uh, Japan. But independently, I think uh, the British also declare a war against Germany. But England is not at war with Russia, well, allied with Japan. So this is completely independent. <clears throat> that is now an issue because now there's, I mean, Japan itself is not an issue. My German cruisers just arrived or are arriving slowly. I think two more arrive next turn. And the Russians have still not so many ships there. Mm, problem is now that in North Europe my ships are less than before and the British have uh, double. Oh, but, but there's no way, no way around this, it's so early in the war. <clears throat> like I explained already, the German Navy has no chance. So I only can try to finish the war with Japan as soon as possible, get the Russians on my side, and then uh, together with Russia, maybe we can find a peaceful, peaceful solution with England, or I find a way to give up some cheap island and then have peace again with Britain early on. So... More I really cannot do because uh, my ships are fully under, or my ships are all full, all ships are ready for fighting. Uh, well, because I was away at war with Japan, so there's no real change. <coughs> Let's see what happens here with the first turn with England. So there's a, immediately a battle with England. And I must take this battle. And sometimes you have the choice to uh, to give up more or less immediately or delay the act. But in this case, I must go directly for war. Oh, the sound effects are a little strong. Maybe. So, there is, in this case, uh, it's me. I must raid the enemy shipping. So, this is my, more or less, my flagship division. So, I go for max speed minus two. This, more or less, is, uh, then the ship will, this speed you can run non-stop. If you go for max speed, then it's coal firing. Uh, you will have issues in the long run. But I also want my light cruisers have other formation, not screen formation. They can work independently and I won't control them directly. And I say line ahead. Max minus two. Maybe go for slow speed. And I really have to send, sink six transport ships, but first I must find the transport ships. So I go with my light cruisers in this direction, with my heavy cruisers maybe in this direction. <laughs> and then I can go for normal speed. Ah, here are the transport ships. Okay, light cruisers are the direction. <laughs> oh, this are yeah, these are transport ships. So heavy cruisers go north, light cruisers go this direction. <laughs> For some reason, the British uh, protection fleet is uh, not engaging me directly so I can maybe close the distance <laughs> uh, 
Ah, uh, yeah, we can also check maybe. This was now the. This is a British heavy cooler. They're simply they're very similar to my design for inch 7,000 tons. It's more or less a copy of the German ship, or maybe the Germans copy the British ships, I don't know. And again, in this is really the main task is sinking the merchant shipping and not really engaging the enemy. Normally the light cruisers are for hunting the cargo ships and uh, the heavy cruisers for taking the enemy cover fleet. And uh, I get a torpedo hit. Oh, it's You can also hit your own ships with torpedo, so I would not say this is my torpedo, but uh, enemy heavy cruiser get a torpedo hit. And sometimes if you can only, you can see your own torpedoes, but you cannot see the enemy torpedoes, but there's a Torpedo running, very straightforward, uh, but the range is too short. Maybe it was her for other ship. So often you play in slower, not slow, slow is even still often too fast. So with slower you can control your sh uh, ships better, but it need more time. So I think this is okay. It's dangerous to keep the same course for a long time if there's enemy sh ships with torpedo capacity. So normally often you must make zigzag in changing the course. So simply make it sh very hard to hit with long range torpedo attacks. Short range of course will normally always hit if you don't mess up. So and I always check. So you can see I just lost two knots because uh, some of my ships are already damaged and then you get this report so this say uh, heavy cruiser score four heavy shell hits and score uh, 12 uh, secondary hits but also three medium calibers I think this is up to seven inch is medium yeah and I think if it's eight inch then it's heavy hit uh, I'm not 100% sure, but at least uh, I think heavy is at least 9 inches. I think 9 inches heavy. If you zoom very close in, then you can see the model of the ship. You can also see if the guns are turning or not turning. But this means this is really hard if you control the uh, whole squadrons of uh, ships uh, because you must normally care too much and you cannot uh, manage ship by ship if you have only one battleship then you can maybe do this And I lose more speed. One of my ships must be damaged already. Well, I don't know where, which one. This looks all okay so far. And you can also see different classes. So this is the Prince uh, Adalabert class. And the uh, Victoria Louise class, this is much smaller. They all calling uh, heavy cruisers, but uh, yeah, what this means is often different. So a class of a ship is not a... Uh, yeah. I try to build it unique, so that I, this is why I always build uh, four ships of the same class to have a division of the same type. 
and not mix too much. But this early on, or if you have small budget or smaller navies, then you will have more single ships or only maybe two or three of the same kind. And then you must maybe put them together. You can see here the red flashes. This means always a hit. I don't think there's a difference between small and big hit, but maybe there is a big flash and a small flash. I'm not so sure. Then you get this report like this is a but fog of war report for my own ships. It can be true, trustful, but can be sometimes changing. I better change the course of. Oh, so my main objective is already secured. So I go with my light cruisers for this one. And there uh, are heavy transports on this side. Maybe I turn around. And I can maybe go to slower. Slow now. But this is really hard to control. Down to nine knots. One of my ships must have really. Yeah, maybe this one is low on speed. I still don't know if there's really anywhere a prob an information about the speed because I think really this is missing. Current speed is seven. Ah, oh yeah, current speed is seven. Max speed is eleven. Ah, yeah, and then 11 minus 2 is 9, so this is the slow speed. Normally, you use this ship at 18, but now it's down to. Uh, yeah. So, this one. First, Bismarck is the slowest ship. So, I could now say first Bismarck here, you can also see it, is detached. And then I give uh, the order to retreat. Oh, I must first uh, take this away. Then my other division can go for 15 knots again. Because we all know Jackie Fisher, and Jackie Fisher is say uh, that speed is the best protection. And yeah, speed is important in Navy warfare. But speed is not everything. Or oh, the British battle cruisers would not simply blow up so easily. So this uh, enemy heavy cruiser is uh, dead in the water and will maybe sink sooner or later. I use here now my light cruisers to finish some from cargo ships. Yeah, maybe now I can increase the speed. I still have uh, a little problems to close the gap. Sooner or later I will lose control, because this is my flagship and if uh, your ships are too far away and they cannot see each other then they will go for automatic. Because you have only one admiral in this task force. Because this is vice admiral mode. And if you have admiral mode I think you can give, uh, you cannot control anything directly, you can only give roughly orders. But you can also play the captain mode, then you can control everything directly if you want. The question is if you want this. So my light cruisers uh, hunting down here one more cargo ship or two. My heavy cruisers do the same. Maybe I go for cruise speed and let the other cruisers uh, close up. This Bismarck is uh, on the way.
This engagement was successful, but uh, simply because uh, the British was maybe caught off guard. This can happen easily also on, for me. And if there's a real battleship engagement, then uh, I have no chance. So I try to think what is possible only to get points and then I can maybe get an easy peace with the British and lose not nothing. Good. Try to get my ships together again. So now every cruisers are all together, then I can increase the speed again. Maybe we better go to slower again. Maybe if there's some close engagement. Oh, nothing new. Ah, yeah, first Bismarck is out of sight now, it's AR controlled. What I miss is uh, normally the order to tell the ship return to port. Don't engage more as a target. I don't know if I miss this button. You can only let more or less uh, uh, PC control everything. But there's no go home. Don't fight more. Because often if the AI, AI, AI take over control of ships, they go for make, make, max speed and if you flotation damage then ends off not well. Good. Turn around. Turn around. Oh no, these ships are wounded. These are corvettes. This is uh, low value targets. And we're fighting here in the north. Go down, north, the south, and also here. South. Good, maybe time to increase the speed a little more. I try to corner the ship so that I can finish them off. Ah, uh, Bismarck is coming back. I don't want this, but... So this is now, you can see here, 3 p.m. afternoon, I have maybe two, it's high summer, so there's still light for two or three hours. But the technology is really not good, so you must close and really score hits. This is often too far away. I am now here roughly five, six thousand yards away, this is uh, normally uh, very hard to hit anything, but one of the light colors maybe slows down. So maybe I can come closer. Spot is a hit, but often only a light hit. 
but uh, over time, yeah. And you can also this misunderstanding. This means that the uh, the ship will do uh, something completely strange because it thinks uh, there was a order for doing this. Okay, this light cruiser is now. Uh, the water hit, so it cannot control more the direction. And it's always good to score more hits in short time. Maybe if hit the boilers and then the ship is still in the water. The ship is burning. And getting slower and slower. Maybe Bismarck can finish it off. Another ship's running away. I don't know if there's still more to do. I go normal speed. I think the British try to escape now. My ammunition is uh, not more the best. My speed of the ships is also handicapped now. I could try to maybe catch them so I go for full speed for a short time. But uh, it's super hard to catch them. We have more or less the same speed. No one make a mistake or a critical hit. No, so I can go too fast, but my ships, I think, uh, will soon losing speed. So I go back to normal fifteen. I see. I think this is a, a call off. So I call it off. I tried this to engage. Go back to cruise speed. And call it a day. And also sunrise is over. So opposite, uh, so there are no British ships more at the end. This was at the end a great victory against all odds, but it was related to that uh, my ships are evilly or even stronger than the British in this situation. So I was able to sink uh, 17 cargo ships, one light cruiser, two heavy cruisers. And for me is nearly nothing. I had also some battleships but maybe it's a coastline far away. So I get a lot of points because I think the transport is a bonus points plus points uh, for the difference in what you're thinking. So at the end 46,000 points for me and nearly no points for the British. And uh, this is then uh, a major victory. But only a major victory, you can normally get two prestige points, but even this big battle, normally it was a big battle, but I still only get one prestige, not two prestige. Still, victory points, 3,150, that is not bad. And we can give this name a battle, uh, yeah. 
a name to remember it. So we get some spy activity in the British, we don't even have no spies there, but uh, so there's a new ship under construction, it's the Queen, uh, 13 inch, no, oh, okay. But uh, I cannot avoid this, that the enemy is blockading us. But Russia joined the war against Britain, no good news. So because England is now at war with me, I can go for full intel, maybe I get something out of this. And maybe I can also go full intel for Japan, because we are at war. And I avoid maybe intel on the Russian side now first. Good. Uh, if you have a battle, your ship's getting damaged and then sometimes your ships must go to repair dock. But looks like all of my ships from this last battle was... Oh no, you can see here. One month in repair. So uh, even... Like uh, also the Battle of Jutland, most of the German heavy ships was for two, three, four, five, six months in shipyard and repair them. Uh, yeah. We have unrest level of one because we are under blockade. So maybe I can keep this up for one or two years, but uh, not for unlimited time. But I have here now three and a half thousand victory points against roughly one and a half, one thousand for the enemy. Good. Still, more I cannot do. It was a victory, a good victory, important victory. But if it change, I don't know. This is now a battle of Japan. So here you can now decline or accept. But normally, if you decline, the enemy get victory points. So I, it's hard to do this. So I say accept. I mean, if there is a battle, you really know it makes no sense then you can decline, but often it is a no-go. And this is what, what the, on the map you see the maximum forces are possible, but this is means not that all of your forces will enter the war. So in this case, it is a really very special one ship, no, two ships, three ships, oh, three ships, engagement. We have here no real tasks, it's only enemy ships are somewhere in the area. So I let the PC try to... Ah, it finds all way. The enemy is inside. Okay, then I go off max minus two. And try to close. And then I first get a feeling if it makes sense to attack. Light cruiser, heavy cruiser. Okay, heavy cruisers, light cruiser. And uh, often the PC also don't want really fight me. So I try to come in range and I need a feeling what is here. So 20 knots, 7,500 tons, standard cruiser, nothing too special. For me this I think the modern cruisers, this is the Friedrich Karl class, 7,000 tons, but also 8 inch, 6 inch. But I had here already one medium hit. Oops, immediately. The first round make a hit. Wow, crazy. What is the distance? Uh, nearly 5,000 yards, okay. Closing in, we're closing in. But I have three heavy cruisers against two Japanese light cru uh, heavy cruisers. I also try to get a torpedo attack on my ships. I lost one knot. More ships are coming from behind. There's so far light damage on the enemy. Uh, oh, my 
my ship get hit and lost one. Of course, for your own ships, you have more damage reports. Oh, that was it on the I always try to cross the T, I mean, this means that I can get all my batteries on the target and I deny the enemy, if possible, to do the same for against me. Most important is normally enemy torpedo attacks, so you must always cruise a little. Looks like there's a rudder hit. Oh, this is good. So I can focus my firepower on one heavy cruiser now. Score in short time multiple hits. You can also see here always on the left side the battle report. Not that I really have time to check it. But this heavy cruiser I think is now dead. Sinking, yeah. So this one is dead. So I try to finish maybe the next one. Because it makes no sense to shell a sinking ship. I don't know if the enemy will try to engage me. The other ship is also a heavily fire. I mean, not heavily damaged, but on fire. There is no, I think only on fire. And then uh, there's a fire is out of control, and the ship is normally doomed. So I try to close, but my speed is down to 12. And I don't want to have here enemy torpedo attacks. I don't know how strong this is the light cruiser. Four and a half thousand tons, five inch. Mm. So I think I close the distance. Uh, yeah. So I come shorter and shorter. Five thousand yards, I think, is the distance you need to score really hits. And now I'm at four thousand. On fire now, medium fire, uh, damage. Amber, blue fire, So, this design or this German battle uh, uh, heavy cruiser design looks like it's very powerful so far, but it's always a question of time. Uh, all of these ships are out of date or outdated after five years, often. So, you must always rebuild the ship or design a new ship and not be angry or hesitate to scrap your old ship. Closing in. Trying to avoid enemy torpedo attack. Light cruisers have also torpedoes. Now dead in water. Could be an opportunity to launch my own torpedo attack, but I'm not sure. I think I designed this. Uh, I think I design uh, my ships without torpedo. No, oh, no, I have torpedoes here. Okay. How often aggressive uh, ship will launch the torpedoes? I think it's uh, 
uh, not uh, always. Uh, you cannot really force them to torpedo attack, and the range of torpedoes are very short in this early stage. And I think it makes no sense to really. Is sinking, yeah. And the light cruiser will normally not attack me more, so I think it's time to break. Cruise speed maximum and disengage. Japanese ships also disengaging. Ah, they won't come back. I don't know. Really? Maybe they won't make a torpedo attack. They go down to 10 knots. The night, the night is coming. Okay. Okay. No one is more coming. Okay. So second battle. This time I have one of my own cruisers heavily damaged, but I sunk two enemy cruisers. So still a victory for me. Uh, okay. And this is now a major victory, but no victory points for me. Still 900 to 200, so 700 more gap in the war. Yeah, but uh, the Britain, British, of course, control the North Sea. Great Britain have each empty war demonstration, maybe because they don't really understand why they fight the Germans. Some trouble for one like cruiser, must go to a shipyard and more fleet tactics. Ah, now you get Navy Ac 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 Academy. This is also now 12 inch, but minus two, I don't know why. I never use normally minus two sh guns. And uh, Russia give me 130 victory points. Uh, this is okay. So, if you have this uh, new uh, research and you can go to doctrine and then you can say run the Navy Academy, gives you, make your officers a little more skillful in the long run. Good. This were two battles. I think that was fine first. Uh, I'm not so sure if this is really so famous, this game, but it's some. Um, a little more funny. It's more an aspect of uh, running, manage, financial, and the design. The battles are simple, but okay. Good. Uh, so victory points now four and a half thousand to two thousand. Maybe there's a possibility to simply get a white piece. I hope so. But we will see. Next time. See you. Bye bye.